Good morning, welcome to CADEX TV. My name is Frank Fortunato. Today is Friday, November 15, 2013. If you're listening on the radio and want to watch this, go to www.cadex.com. Our lead story today is concerning the troubled insurer Tower Group, which last night after the market closed said there is substantial doubt over whether it can continue as a going concern while it admitted its controls around financial reporting were very weak. In a statement outlining plans to reissue its financial statements for the past two years, the insurer said it has yet to come up with a workable plan as to how to pay off its debt. Upon the completion of a definable plan to repay our debt, there is substantial doubt about our ability to continue as a going concern. Not good news for people who have insurance treaties with them. The insurance-linked security market has apparently reached an inflection point in its growth, but it's still on track to keep expanding. This is according to Frank Majors, the co-founder of Affila Capital, one of the biggest players in the insurance-linked securities market. Mr. Majors at a uh, PricewaterhouseCoopers conference in Bermuda yesterday said that the uh, $9 billion fund, Affila, has turned off the taps to new money. He said he said this was a very temporary move, though. He said it seemed like a good time to take a breath and he continued to say that investor demand for non-correlated risk will always be strong and he is right. Third point, Rees financial uh, information and so far as stockholders came to light the other day in a uh, filing with the Securities and Exchange Commission. It was uh, revealed that uh, Citadel and Cambiar investors, two asset managers, are among the biggest holders of stock in the company. Also, it was revealed as well that Kelso and Company and Pinebrook Partners uh, also have big stakes in Third Point Re. Third Point Re reported a uh, nice profit, uh, mainly on investment returns, which of course are managed by Daniel Loeb, its founder. John Berger, the CEO, said that the reinsured could post an underwriting profit as soon as the second half of 2014. Berger said that there are opportunities to shoulder risks for companies selling residential policies, workers' comp coverage, and mortgage insurance. One of the uh, outcroppings of the uh, Chinese Communist Party plenum in Beijing earlier this week is that they're going to loosen their decades-old one-child policy by allowing two children for families with one parent who was an only child. That's good news because there has been concern that, in fact, the one, one child policy is going to result in a generational absence of workers about 15 years from now. Another bit of information from the plenum is that the uh, country is going to abolish their much criticized labor camp system. The labor camp system, or re-education through labor system, was established to punish early critics of the Communist Party but is now used by local municipal authorities to deal with people challenging their authorities, such as on land rights or corruption. It's a pretty convenient thing to have people to be sent to. Pope Francis is ailing in Rome. The Vatican said that he has canceled his morning audiences because of a cold, but he apparently is keeping an afternoon mass appointment in which he is going to preside over the ordination of bishops. The 76-year-old Pope, who lost most of one of his lungs due to an infection in his youth, is apparently resting comfortably, but he did cancel four appointments. Uh, there was an uh, explosion at a uh, refinery in southern Mississippi owned by Chevron earlier today. It happened at about 2 a.m. at Chevron's Pascagoula refinery. One person was killed. A fire ignited in a furnace, which uh, would not seem to be unusual, but apparently it got out of control. Meanwhile, also at a Chevron pipeline in Texas, a pipeline carrying liquefied petroleum gas near the town of Milford in Texas, about 70 miles from Fort Worth, um, this explosion has resulted in the shutdown of the town of Milford. Authorities have surrounded the town, which is fortunately a tiny community, and uh, not letting anybody out. The 10-inch pipe exploded when a group of Chevron workers were working nearby. Nobody has been injured or killed. The Philippine government is defending its efforts to deliver assistance to victims of the super typhoon Haiyan. The response uh, is coming as government officials continue to give conflicting estimates of the death toll, which is expected to rise. 600,000 people are without homes. Authorities are struggling to meet their immediate demands, such as food and water. The death toll uh, apparently is anywhere officially between 2,360 and 3,422. Uh, there are still concerns about remote islands off the two uh, main islands of Leyte and Samar, 
uh, which have not been visited yet. Meanwhile, one week from today is November 22nd, 2013, which is the 50th anniversary of the assassination of President John F. Kennedy in Dallas, Texas. Uh, Caroline Kennedy, his only surviving uh, child, accomplished one of her main objectives uh, by landing in Narita Airport earlier today, saying that she brings greetings from President Obama. Ms. Kennedy is now, of course, the American ambassador to Japan and uh, apparently from uh, insider information was very, very interested in not being in the United States on the 50th anniversary of her father's assassination. And I don't blame her one bit. If you're in the U.S., you know that it's all over the television, all over the media, all over the periodicals and the tabloids. It's going to be a very sad day a week from now, and we will remember it. That's the news for today. On Monday, we will be broadcasting from London. Have a nice weekend, and we'll see you then.